We've all been on set where our camera equipment is spread out all over the floor in various black bags, hidden inside pockets or out of reach. To solve this problem, we've made a DIY equipment cart which can be used in the studio or on set. Welcome to the film look. Thanks to Premium Beat for providing the music we used in this episode. We recommend you check them out whenever you need a great track for your film. Visit their royalty free library to see what we mean. We've added a link in the description below. The car we used can be found on Amazon. It's 75 centimeters long, 70 centimeters tall, and it has a width of 35 centimeters and has three shelves. The wheels that come with the car to work for the amount of weight that we're going to store on it, but you can also add some heavy duty wheels if you want to. All of the links that we mentioned will be in the description below. We added pieces of carpet to each shelf, creating a softer surface for our equipment to be stored on and so things won't roll around. We kept the top shelf of the cart clear, so when setting up our camera rig, we had a place for all of the pieces of equipment to go, whilst we assembled the rig on our tripod. One thing we did attach to the top shelf was a flat-headed screwdriver, so anytime we need to add or remove a tripod plate, you don't need to go searching around for a coin in your pocket. Also, we added a bunch of Allen keys, which we use for our camera rigs. Most equipment on the car can be accessed from both sides, but we've made one side the front and one the back. We've done this so everything can be set up in the same order, and if you're in a small place, you can park it up correctly and still get access to everything. The second shelf is where the most action is happening. On the right hand side, we have all of the chargers we use, which are connected to an extension cable, which hangs off the side when not being used. The main charger we use is for Sony NP batteries, as we use these to power our camera via a dummy battery. You can find a video here and the charger we use has a battery level percentage which comes in very handy. The box behind has extra batteries and chargers that we don't really use often, but it can also be used to store batteries and chargers when in transport. Once a battery is fully charged, they move to the left hand side of the cart. We've divided this section up with some white backing cart. Having it divided clearly shows where all of the charged batteries should go. Next we have a small section for the lenses that we use on a shoot. For our short films, we switch between a 35, a 58 and an 85, and having them on hand in a safe place saves time finding them in your bag. When a lens is being used, the caps of the lens are left on the cart so they don't go missing. Since batteries and lenses are the thing you'll change the most, having a dedicated space allows everything to be stored correctly and safely. It's also a lot easier to direct someone to one place when changing a battery or lens, instead of them trying to find a battery in a pocket of a camera bag. On the second shelf we also added LED lights so when it gets dark you can still see where everything goes. The bottom shelf is where we store small equipment cases as these normally still have power, audio cables, clips and extra accessories in them which we still might need. Next we have a place for our tool bag which always comes handy on set and a final box where the flat batteries go when all of the chargers are being used. Having this on a separate shelf make sure the flat batteries don't get mixed up with the charge ones. On the front of the cart we have a plastic tube which holds all of our coloured gels, we have a velcro tape holder and a tin to store pens. These are all connected via bolts with wing nuts so everything can be removed if needed. We also have a place for all of our metal clips and pegs to go. These are clipped to a piece of cart so when in transport they can be taken out of the camera bag and clipped directly to the cart. This cart works well for us in our studio and on our short films. We already had some of the materials we used on the cart like the carpet and the bolts, but we've estimated that it would cost around £60 to make this from scratch, and you can just keep adding things until it suits you. A professional equipment cart can cost over £1000, but this is because it's being used on films which have camera equipment that is much heavier and costs hundreds of thousands of pounds, so you probably want a cart that costs thousands. We still have a few things we would like to add to the cart, but we would love your suggestions. So if you have any, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to, subscribe by hitting the orange lens cap. And remember, achieve it one shot at a time.